EA Sports. It's in the game, unless that game is FIFA. It is one of the most profitable video game brands in gaming history, that's Electronic Arts FIFA franchise, but it's coming to an end after a failure to make an agreement between EA Sports and FIFA Football's world governing body over licensing agreements. So that means that the FIFA Football franchise from 2023 onwards will now be called EA Sports FC. FIFA on their side said that they plan to release its own rival video game. The FIFA name as they say is the only global original title. EA Sports first made their FIFA game in 1993 and has been in charge of the franchise ever since. Speaking to the BBC, David Jackson, Vice President at EA Sports, explained that the studio thinks it's time to move in a different direction in order to build a quote, brand for the future. Jackson goes on to say, the world of football and the world of entertainment are changing and they clash within our product. In the future, our players will demand of us the ability to be more expansive in that offering. At the moment, we engage in play as primary form of interactive experience. Soon, watching and creating content are going to be equally as important for the fans. Under the licensing conventions that we had agreed with FIFA 10 years ago, there were some restrictions that weren't going to allow us to be able to build those experiences for players. One of the main reasons FIFA has just been so successful in the video game world is down to EA Sports licensing arrangements with the likes of the Premier League, La Liga and Bundesliga where players can play as their official club teams, even adding the lower leagues in 2004-2005 so that you could play as League 2, League 1 and Championship clubs in England as well as lower divisions for France, Spain and Germany. Unlike rival football games where you would have to substitute the team name for something like Merseyside Reds for Liverpool or Yorkshire Tigers for Hull City. It is a big gamble for EA to ditch the FIFA name, but why have they really come to this decision? Well, the last agreement between Electronic Arts and Football's World Governing Body came in 2013. It had been reported that Football's World Governing Body had hiked up the price for the license significantly, this time by up to more than a billion dollars per four-year World Cup cycle. In a long statement on their website, FIFA said it will launch its own video games, developed closely with a range of third-party studios and publishers, providing more choice for football and gaming fans in the lead-up to the World Cups in Qatar and beyond. As well as launching new games during 2022 and 2023, FIFA says it's working with leading video game publishers, media companies and investors to develop a major new FIFA simulation game in 2024. The president of football's world governing body Gianni Infantino said in a statement, I can assure you that the only authentic real game that has the FIFA name will be the best one available for gamers and for football fans. The constant is the FIFA name and it will remain forever and remain the best. So who will work with football's world governing body? Well, speculation is rife and at this present moment, it's just purely guesswork. Could we see a bizarre world in which eFootball, made by Konami, former Pro Evolution Soccer, rebrand as FIFA? Or could somebody say like Sega, who make the Football Manager game through Sports Interactive, pick up a FIFA license? Or could we see an entirely new developer make a brand new range of FIFA video games? for the world. But when it comes to FIFA, EA Sports, it's no longer in the game.